You guys doing alright in there? Having a good old time? Falling through walls or something? Why are you guys running ahead? <laughs> You're here to protect me, right? Why are you abandoning me? They're really in a hurry. They don't, they don't have very good instincts as bodyguards, do they? They don't help me when I'm in trouble in combat a lot of time. They run ahead. Are you okay? Hey! I can't hear you! That's it! I quit! What the hell are we doing here? Snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> Thing trying to drag you ah! They do a weird amount of uh, movie references, don't they? Oh wait, yeah, I can just warp. Now I'm gonna help you, yay! Is there a bad guy around here I can attack? No? All right, let's drop down. So they, they seem to make a lot of movie reference. Oh god, there's so many of them. Why are there so many of them? Oh. They interrupt this attack. So a second ago he said snakes. Why did they have to be snakes? Which is a reference to Indiana Jones. And, er, and when I was running to the Chocobo farm, one of them said that's all she wrote. And I don't see any allies. Oh cool, the one other guy that's injured. I'm just gonna go this way for a while. That seems like a good idea. I'm just gonna go live here. Alright, bye. Are they still chasing me? Alright, I, I auto-revived from, from enough time passing so I can get this guy back up. None of our friends are really here though. I can warp up here and then probably ambush somebody? Blammo! Did that hurt? <laughs> are you in pain, buddy? Was that worth- was that worth doing? Yeah, I'm not sure what the drain blade does. It does some bonus damage, I think, but it's not... The the thing that it's draining is not entirely clear to me. Drain blade! Yeah! Drain blade! Drain blade! Yeah, I'm not healing, and I'm not getting more mana necessarily to use more drain blades. Oh, I'm down. So the issue here is that there's just... The game ha the game has a defense mode and a power... and a, uh, a parry system, sure. So, like, they are giving me some tools with which to resist these guys. But, but, uh, I'm a little iffy on the, the fact that, like, at any point, uh, at any point any of them can throw something at me. And there's, like, 50 of them, so I don't know how anyone can keep track of all the things they can throw. And I'm down. That was a good time to heal me, because I was about to be in trouble. Oh, God, I found where all the bad guys hid. Oh, God, this is the end for me. Oh, crap, I just put myself in stasis mode. I just auto-regenerated because I'm the I have protagonist magic. I will say, when, so when someone needs help, they don't really look like they need help. They kind of just walk around normally, which is weird. Like, they, like uh, Ignis was just casually standing or standing upright and walking around like nothing was wrong. Oh, Gladiolus is down. Oh no, he's ragdolling. Where do I go? Can I just, like, go to my objective instead of continuing the fight? Is that an option? Shattered timepiece. Hey, everybody. I'm out of here. I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. It's cool, I'm going this way. I see a gold mark over here, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Hey Gladiolus, I'll see you later. I know you like brought- oh cool, it's our objective. Can combat end? Oh, combat didn't end. I'm in trouble. They're all gonna chase me down here and I'm gonna die. Uh oh, and Ignis is down. Uh, he's about to get downed before I can get to him too, huh? He's so low on hit points, can I- nope, there he goes. That's the entire party. I can't run away, can I? There's no way to, like, just make it end. Because in the overworld, you can kind of run away from combat. I don't think that's going to work. Are they going to come after me? What is the intended experience here? Am I having it? Is this what I'm supposed... Is this how this is supposed to play out? Like, I don't know. I'd like to think I'm not stupid. That I'm like playing, I'm using the mechanics that I know exist as far as I can tell, and I don't know. Well, I have an armager, so that's scary. Wham! I'm in crazy attack mode. Scary, spooky. Yeah. Oh! It says Tempest equals zero out of 40 something. Does that mean I can just cast Tempest infinitely? Oh, I can just cast Tempest apparently. Oh god, I just started teleporting too many times. And I'm gonna go into stasis mode, aren't I? Shit. Back to running away. Oh, God damn it. Are you serious? You guys, they just spawn more, just like that. The game's not, if, if there's something I'm supposed to be doing here that I'm not doing, the game is not giving me the information with which to do it. 
because it gives me one waypoint, and that waypoint's like, go check out the gold thing. I'm like, all right, I'll go check out the, look at this tree, it's nice, all right. Uh, nothing ends, we're still in combat. Oh, look, six more enemies to fight, have fun. How many of them are there now? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I lost count. We're gonna start over. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, seventeen. There's seventeen. There's there's more than ever before. Even though I went into crazy, super duper, uh, rare ancient weapon mode and started like obliterating some of them, there are now more than there's ever been before in my life. Alright, just go ahead and kill me. This is it. Here we go. Yeah. Final Fantasy 15. What? Alright, this time I decided not to deal with Prompto and his, the, the part where he falls down. So I'm staying with the main group. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get the opportunity to just wail on some dudes here. Come back here, buddy. They're running away from me, come on. <laughs> All I have is melee, I need you to stick with me. Dude, look how many hits it takes to kill one of these guys that's supposed to be level 8. It, it says we're out of combat. Literally, as I'm comboing a guy against a wall, it says we're out of combat, that's funny. They're, they're level 8, right? Because we're like, wait. We are noticeably, oh. Apparently I don't have any enemies right now. I really wish I could get the game to lock onto someone that I actually want to fight. There we go. It keeps locking onto one of the enemies in the cloud. That's the thing, is like having a lock on system in your game is just not that condu it's just not that really helpful when you have a game where it's like here's like forty enemies in a room. Good luck locking onto the one you want to fight. And I'm down again. God damn. Am I just not supposed to be doing this? Like does the was I, was I supposed to go grind for like three hours first and level up before I came in here? Does this demo have grinding built into it? That'd be kind of a bummer. That'd be a bad sign for the rest of the game if the demo already had grinding in it. Come on. Look how many hits it takes to kill them. And there's like 30 of them. And then when they hit me, I pretty much immediately go down. And even if that's not happening, the, uh, they can poison me. Oh god. And when they poison me, of course, that means that I am going to go down to zero hit points in a second here. Here it goes. I don't really have healing methods, really. I have a weapon that heals me, but last time that was my main weapon. Like, it was my attack barrage weapon, which means I was using it most of the time. And it still wasn't giving me hit points, really, to, to help out. So it's not reliable, is what I'm saying. Oh, goddammit. That's me tr Oh, cool. I, was, I tried to revive Prompto, but instead it teleported and put me in, put me in stasis. So when we're in the vulnerable situation where a party member is injured and, and can't fight, and I desperately need everything that I have that I can muster to fight properly, I accidentally put myself in stasis when trying to revive him, just making the situation worse for myself because they use one button for every command. It's The weird thing about having a, a two-tier lock-on system with it being like, hold R1 and then click right stick to fully lock onto them is that I keep... I keep clicking left stick first instead, because it just seems logical to me to have a one button lock on, and so I keep I keep like twitching the camera around because it doesn't do anything until you press R1 first. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Oh, Prompto's down again, so there goes that Phoenix down. Well, and I can't move. There we go. This is just sort of janky. So basically, I'm winning, but it's I'm winning because I'm exploiting the AI pretty blatantly right now. So I'm hiding behind a wall. And only some of them will be smart enough to go around the wall, but other and while other ones just kind of stand there doing nothing for a while. So I'm I'm winning the fight, but I'm winning the fight because the game AI can't really handle what I'm doing for some reason. Just the simple act of going around a corner a little bit confuses the AI, which I don't know. I don't think that's really a victory for the game itself, unfortunately. Are there any more bad guys? Where are they? It says I have one more enemy. Down here? I'll finish him. Come on. I just need this fight to end so the prompter gets back up. Oh, and that's a cloud of enemies right there. I see them. Oh, there's so many. And my ally got in my way so I couldn't even hit them with my AoE. That's unfortunate. You guys, you guys having a good little party down there? So how many are there now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. 
There's eight. Why? Why does there have to be eight more? Why couldn't we just let it to the fight end? Why couldn't that have been my victory? Why must you rob me of everything that I think I accomplish? I think probably what makes this nastiest is the uh, the poison. And I simply don't have the supply of antidotes to counteract it. Uh, you only have a few antidotes. You can't just sit there and spam them indefinitely. You have to use them at like smart moments. And that's not really a... There aren't really smart moments where you're just fighting like... What seems like it might actually be a hundred goblins back to back. And then at the end of all those goblin fights, you get... Like, every single one of them can poison you with every single attack. Which means the entire party is constantly losing hit points. And the only way to counteract that is to recover with the antidote. But then they'll immediately just reapply it, so that doesn't actually help. The antidotes are kind of useless during combat. They'd be useful for between combat, but there isn't really a between combat if they're just going to keep spawning more waves of enemies in one continuous fight, unfortunately. We're, we're just barely hanging in there. The poison's brutal, because it's not... In most games, poison does a few... It does like a few ticks of damage for a while, and it just weakens you a bit. In this game, poison just keeps going until you're down to one hit point, and then it sticks around for like three minutes. Which is brutal. It's just a long time to be stuck at like no hit points. One of the things that's helping me right here is that my... Oh, there we go. Nine, shot, nine minutes in, we win. Wow. Even the successful run took nine minutes. Exactly. Okay. What kind of helped me out there is that the opening shot of... Oh my... I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm trying to use the uh, Amiga, whatever it's... The, uh... I'm trying to use the, the mystical sword that I picked up that I often forget exists because they introduced it so suddenly. My character keeps teleporting. I don't know why my keeps... I don't know why is my character teleporting. I'm just trying to hit square to attack somebody, and my character keeps teleporting instead of attacking people. And I don't know why. I don't... man... <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this game. I'm gonna try to back off for a moment just to not die. Oh, Eddie found me. That's... The camera's not helping me very much either. Because there's just so many enemies that I can't see them on the screen. So I can't know when they're gonna attack me. See, there's a few games out there that do really big cl there's, there's a few games that do big clouds of enemies and expect you to counter them and stuff like that. But the thing about them is like they're like games like Assassin's Creed and especially Batman. And uh, Batman's really good about the fact that it uh, during this kind of combat scenario, it'll pull the camera out and you kind of get like a more of a top-down view of the fight because that means when you're someone's attacking you, you can know you can know when the attack's coming and be ready for the counterattack. This game has a really, really close-up third-person camera. And you basically have to manually control it all the time. And it's very sluggish and slow. This is the fastest you can rotate the camera. And there's no real settings in the game right now to make it spin faster. So you're very slowly spinning the camera. And it's only pointing in one really narrow cone. So you, like, I'm looking in one direction. This is like roughly a 90 degree cone, I think. Cause like, here's a whole new view. Here's a whole new view. Here's a whole new view, and then that's the original direction I was looking in, so that's, like, at any given moment, 75% of your area can't be seen, so you're constantly under threat. So it's just, it's just not a camera system that's built for lar fighting large uh, swarms of enemies at once. It's not a Dynasty Warriors camera, or a Batman camera, it's a super close-up awkward camera. Which works for a game like Dark Souls, but that's because in Dark Souls, you fight like two guys at once, or one guy. So you just lock onto them and hey, you, you and then you're fine. But this is crazy. What is this place? Well, well. So coming down here gave us a mystical... Noctis has assimilated a new astral power. Rambo will bestow the grace of Noctis when Noctis' HP is zero. 
Common enemies defeated by Roma do not provide items experience in episode Duche. Okay. I'll exit the cavern. Uh, maybe I'm forgetting because I did have to take a break for like two days and record some Type Zero, so I might have m forgotten what happened in the previous, in the first two episodes, but I don't remember there being any reason given for why we came in this cave in the first place. Like, I feel like the game just said, we're not strong enough, we should go do something else for a while. And then we went to town and he's like, I wouldn't go in that cave, that cave's bad. And then we're like, alright, we're going in the cave, there's a mystical relic. Like, How did you know that? Did you know there was going to be? Did you read the script too? <laughs> this is a checkpoint. Yes, okay. You've explained those a few times now. That's okay. <sighs> so now I'm super powerful or something? Like, do I... Do I have magical mystical powers? Do I enter... Do I enter god mode when I'm about to die? Is that what the infer inference was? I'm gonna go ahead and set our new destination to be this campground that's right in front of us. Actually, my goal is to go way up to the top, so what I'll do... I'll return to the, my previous rest point. There we go. Alright, we're back up in the northern... Uh, or I guess, north eastern corner of the map uh, in the previous campsite I used and we're about ready to try to tr the uh, next stage of the uh, behemoth undertaking but first we're gonna want to camp and see how much we level up from all the stuff we went through give this a shot yeah rest we'll abandon side quests that, that's fine it's bedtime sounds good Let's look at this. Level 12, 17, 18, 14. Let's see how this goes. Oh, dear lord. Wow, okay. 18, 21, 22, 19. So I, I gained six levels just now. So that, that helps. It'd be kind of nice if we were unlocking new techniques, because I feel like we could use some attacks here. But oh well. Hopefully this will be a nice boost of damage for us. So that increases attack, defense, experience gained, and critical hit rate. So now it's questing time. So let's set our destination as being Dead Eyes, Dead Eyes Lair. Summon the strength to to slay Dead Eye, and that's just the uh, the quest where I need all the money. Whoa! Power slide. Whoa! Okay, we got back into Dead Eyes Lair fast. I didn't know they made him that big. So, how do we take him on? Carefully. One mistake could be our last. That was weird. The size of him. I didn't know they made him that big. Those are weird responses. We've, we've seen him before. We've seen the behemoth. Also, we can't see him right now. So, two issues there. They're reacting to the size like we've never seen him before when we've already fought him. And also, we couldn't see him, so I don't know what they were reacting to. Hey, buddy. So I guess this time we're actually going to fight him. Then we're not going to run away. Because that was kind of annoying. Because <laughs> last time I was up I was up fighting him, but my entire party ran away, so that became a problem. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to get behind to his weak spot, but it's kind of hard because he keeps uh, rotating really fast. There we go. He stopped moving for a moment, so I can keep wailing on his... Ow! His tail's dangerous, too. Okay. The more you know. I'm going to try to hang out over here for a little while. What's a good attack to use against this guy exactly? I don't know, I'm kind of I'm hesitant to use abilities against this guy. Oh. Part of me just wants to use uh just focus on having my defense uh, ready whenever it comes up. Probably Drain Blade though. Drain Blade probably has some kind of benefit. I don't necessarily want to use uh oh there we go. Let's use uh the armager. I, pr I should probably just charge that up and use that over and over again. So it, ha it happens whenever I'm full on mana. So let's see how much damage I can do in this state. Oh, he can still hurt me. That's good. That's good to note. <laughs> I have to be careful about that. Oh, I can't see what's going on very well. I did not. <laughs> this is this is very flashy. Oh, I'm down. Shit, guys. From an outside perspective, I'm sure that looks really cool. But from an inside perspective, uh, while playing it, it's kind of awkward. So I'm gonna hold X to try to summon whatever the thing is that can help me when I'm low on hit points. 
What's gonna happen? I'm summoning lightning? Oh my god. We're still this standing. is it! The ticket to getting our car back! Yep. Feeling pretty proud right about now. I think I'm having a moment. Yeah, we'd uh better hurry over to Cindy's. Wow. Okay. So I think next gen version of really over dramatic Final Fantasy summons has been achieved because that was a sight. <laughs> That is not what I was expecting Before to happen. Before we might reclaim our car, we'll need to claim the small fortune this behemoth horn should fetch. So now we take the gill to horns. We can sell the horn. Oh, take the gill by the horns. Sell the behemoth horn at the shop. I guess I already have it. Yeah, it showed up a second ago. That's just a burned up corpse. Is it burned or is it stone? So I, I guess that was how I was supposed to do the fight then, because, uh... He didn't seem to be taking much damage from all my combat, but that was clearly like a one a one button victory thing. So I think that's more or less how that fight was supposed to go: is to get that summon out of the way. Wow. Okay. That was a cool little moment. Let's head back to the shop. It's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just skip ahead. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Gas stations are the same wherever you go. That one looks more like the gas station the time for God. Look a tad out of place in the Crown City. Gotta love that smell though, right? Alright, so here comes the gas station, which appears to be where I'm going to be finding, uh... we have combat going on somewhere? I don't actually see the dogs. They must be behind us. So this is gonna be where we- this is gonna be where we turn in the horns, that's gonna be where our vehicle gets repaired. It might be where that one woman is that I used for the thumbnail. It's the last place to check, so I figure she probably runs this place. Oh, that's- is that her on the left? I think that's her right there. Bending over. Hello. How goes it, Cindy? Hey there! Good to see y'all! Any luck with the car? Don't need luck when you got skill. She's almost ready. How about y'all? We've been unable to raise the money as yet. <laughs> well, take your time. It's no rush at all. I hate to charge you, but we gotta stay in business somehow. <laughs> we broke it, we bought it. She's a fine one, this girl of yours. And she won't take nothing less than the best parts. Only one way to do it, and that's to do it right. All things considered, you're getting a steal. Yeah, don't think we don't know it. When we finally pay our bill off, we'll throw in a dinner too. Best save that for Papa. When I told him y'all broke down again, he was redder than Rama. Alright, so where do we get our money back? It's probably in the shop over here where we sell the horn? Where are we carrying the horn? That thing's huge. What's that? Savor Gorilla Sirloin's Grilled to Perfection. Laugh up luxury at the Lestalum at Laville. Are you who I sell this to? Fine car you got there! Fine lady you got fixing it too. Glad y'all came by. Not too often we get a taste of the finer things down here. Alright, so we'll sell, go sell that horn. It's gonna show up for a lot of money. There it is. There we go. Congratulations. You're now kind of a rich man or something. Much obliged! I can't wait to get the car back! Plenty of ways to pass the time with all that money. No time for that. All right, we got the money. Oh, where'd she go? Where'd she go? What, she took my car. She, oh, there she is. <laughs> She's right there. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and camp. Just I want to see if we get a, a lot of experience from uh, defeating that boss. Caravans cost gil to rent, but offer an experience. Oh, okay, sure. Why not? Two hundred gil. I'll I'll do that. It's bedtime. Yeah. We'll be fine.
experience goes this much. So now it's moving at a somewhat somewhat slower, more reasonable rate, probably because the numbers are getting so much bigger. So now I'm level 21. I'm actually about almost caught up with Prompto and th only three levels behind the other two characters that are more experienced. Catching up. All right, how's my car? Hey, y'all about ready to settle up? Ready as we'll ever be. Didn't mean to keep you waiting. Oh, don't you worry about that one bit now. We have what was in the estimate. Yep, that ought to cover it. So, reckon it's about time we got you back together with your girl. <laughs> We win! 10,000 experience! Let's go rest again for experience! Throat's a little parched. What level am I gonna be? <laughs> you can't stop me. It's you wish you could stop time. me. You wish you could stop me, but you can't. We like to sleep a lot. It's actually a character trait that's been established for the main character. One of the only ones so far. Alright. Experience bo- oh god, we got a 50% experience bonus. So it went up from 10,000 to 15,000. More leveling! I just leveled three times. I just leveled four. I just leveled five times. That was actually worth doing. That means in, in two rests, I just gained like nine levels, I think. Too bad the game's probably about to end, so it's not going to matter at all. Did I pass up? Uh, how, I, how do I compare to my allies? Where are they? Are they just at different parts of camp right now? Oh. Oh, we're not we're not walking around as a unit right now. Okay. So, take the wheel, couch as the disc. What are these? Take the wheel. Oh, I can't click on that one. So I'll click on the con Kalthus the disc. Well, here she is. Come see for yourself. She's primed, prim, and proper. I reckon you won't find a loose nut or bolt on her. We're in your debt. I'll say you are. I souped her up a bunch for you. I should charge you, but I'm not gonna. This one's on the house. That's uh, awfully nice of you. Well, just make sure y'all come back to Hammerhead now, you hear? Count on it. Nowhere else we'd take it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Hop in. Right. It's alive! Just let us know if you need anything. Well, it won't be about repairs next time. Well, that's fine by me. We can tune her up however you like in the garage. All you gotta do is just bring her on in. So it's all right if we call you? Sure is. Pop Hall love having someone to talk to. <laughs> we'll bring something by when we visit. For Sid, of course. <sighs> yeah. Time to hit the road. Thanks again, Cindy. Mm. Y'all take care out there.
待てよ両国間で行われていた停戦協定については今回の事件を受け当面の凍結が発表されましたまた亡くなられたレギス国王陛下に続きノクティス王子そしてテネブライのフルレケ霊場ルナフレーナ様の死亡が新たに確認されていますいいか途中で投げ出すことは許されないルシソ王家の人間としてこのレギスの息子として常に胸を張れ Thank you for playing. More to come in Final Fantasy XV. So that was Final Fantasy XV.、Uh, not the whole game, of course, but a, a brief chapter in it. Don't, I don't know if that's actually a part of the game or if it's a. Like, I don't know if that's, just, if that's supposed to be like a, an isolated piece of the game that's not part of it, that they just made as a demo just to, to tease the game, or if that's actually going to be a chunk of the game altogether. But、uh, I'm guessing that that might be a slice of game that, if it is from the main campaign, might be a little bit better balanced. If it's in the context of a larger progression system that we didn't have access to. But、uh, I don't know. I enjoyed the characters and story. And, like, not, well, I don't know the story necessarily, but I mean, like, the,、uh, I feel like the setting and characters is something that could be fun for a larger adventure. So I look forward to that part. But I hope the combat gets altered a little bit because I wasn't so on board with the.、Uh, whenever they started throwing a lot of enemies at us, it just became chaos of, like, All right, try to mash some buttons, and if you're lucky, you can get a counter off whenever someone tries to attack you. But also, you can't really see what's going on around you because there's so many enemies. So, good luck, I guess. And here's some poison. It happened above the surface with、uh, the saber tusks, where the, sometimes there was too many of them, and then it got way worse when we went underground, and there was, like, in some cases, literally 18 goblins at once, and they all have poison attacks, which reduces your hit points to, to one. Which makes everyone in your party able to be eliminated in one hit or at least put into panic mode. So I hope, that's, I hope that plays out a little differently in the final product. But that was Final Fantasy XV, episode to Shay. Thanks for watching, guys, like always. And I'll see you next time. And we'll continue with、uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero.